Alright guys, so this is gonna be the second portion of this video and um obviously you guys are using the title, this is the part of the video where I'm gonna be talking about the two times I got in trouble for airsofting. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm whipping now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Nico here. And guys, um, as you guys can see recently, I've been daily vlogging. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. I might be playing some Fortnite in the background telling you guys um, a story. I don't know what story yet, but it has to be definitely a funny one. But I'm not sure yet. But guys, obviously you'll see whatever the title of this video is and all that stuff. And guys, I know I sound a little different. I do have a sore throat still. So, man, this thing's been going on for a long time. And I'm gonna go get, I might go get it checked out. I don't know, because it might be strep throat. I'm not sure. It just all depends. I you know, I have to go check and all that, but, you know. Anyway, guys, I did wake up at, like, 9, 12, 15 now. Just started the vlog. I already had some of my G Fuel because I was going to play some Fortnite. But I think I'm going to make some eggs right now. I'm going to put some eggs in here, and I'll mix them up, put it on the pan, all that stuff. Um, but, guys, I might do a little time lapse, but my camera's actually about to die. I didn't charge it from yesterday, so I'm going to go charge it, actually. So, see you guys in a bit. Actually, I take that back. I'm just going to do a quick time lapse. It won't take long for me to whip up these eggs real quick. So let's get it. So I just decided to have uh, four eggs instead of two. I know we only have two for breakfast, but it is 12, so this is just gonna be like kind of my breakfast and my lunch, like a brunch. So, um, but yeah. Hey, but guys, after I go eat, I'm gonna go take a quick shower because obviously I did not um, take a shower yet from yesterday. Cause dude, I just passed out, dude. So I'm gonna eat breakfast then or brunch, and then I'm gonna go upstairs, take a quick shower, and then come down here and just finish off the video. So, hey, anyway, guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so this is going to be the second portion of this video, and um, obviously you guys are using the title, this is the part of the video where I'm going to be talking about the two times I got in trouble for airsofting. So guys, when I was doing this um, airsofting, you know, I still airsoft a lot, I go to the actual field now, I don't obviously airsoft from my front yard, and I also have better gear and stuff, like I actually airsoft, airsoft, like I, I'm on a team, and um, basically, um, I have like cry attacks and stuff like that now, I do, I've sniper rifles all that I don't have any more cheap dick guns like I did during these when these uh, stories took place so guys basically the first story starts off when I was in fifth grade and uh, that was about that was five years no four years ago sorry I messed up four years ago and um I mean it's not too long ago but I was obviously young dumb I still am but oh man sorry guys my throat really hurts but Basically, guys, what went down was I was playing airsoft, you know, airsoft wars with my friends all the time. You know, we run around my backyard, act all tactical, try to shoot each other. Um, and airsoft guns, if you guys have never gotten shot by one, they really don't hurt that bad. Just a little kind of pinch. It's not really bad. Or paintballing, same thing. But, guys, basically, um, I was in the front yard um, just because I wanted to fa We have this big fat tree in our, um, bat in our front yard, and I was shooting at it just to get some, like, target practice in. And behind that is a, uh, what? My bad. Is an old man's house. And, um, he said apparently I hit him. Or not, and I hit him, but hit, like, near him. And I could have hit him. Um, of course, since he's elderly, obviously, the cop's going to believe him. Not obviously what we say. So, um, and I swear I never hit him because he never even confronted us. Like, we were just shooting. He was over there with his dog, just chilling. And then, whenever you know, there's a cop right there talking to us. So, um, but basically, after I did that, we went back in the backyard and started having our wars, all that stuff. And then, um, 
we we just got curious. We were like, actually, I wonder if that what that old man is, you know, doing. Like, you know, if he's like mad at us for just playing or what. So we peek around the corner. We see Strongsville police officer right there. Um, you know, hanging out in his front yard, talking to him and asking what's going on and stuff. So we're like, oh my my, like we're like, oh man. So not oh my, well I don't know what I said, but um, so we um obviously went inside the house we put the guns away all that stuff and then um we came up back back outside but we just act like we were just like hanging out talking and stuff and the cop comes back and says hey uh can i talk to you guys for a minute i was like yeah, yeah what's up all right guys so back to what i was saying um and the cop comes up to us and he says you know okay i talk to you guys for a second and we were like what what and so, um, obviously, I was crying at this point. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was a scaredy cat. Like, I was so scared. I thought I was going to go to jail just for playing with airsoft guns in fifth grade. I was so scared. So, um, basically, um, the cop comes back, like, like here he did. And he said, you know, like, who's home, all that stuff. So, I was like, my sister's home, blah, blah. Oh, wait, one part that I forgot to mention is that as we were running inside, I went upstairs to tell my sister. My sister was, you know, 16 or whatever. She had no idea what to do. So she was obviously scared. So she called my mom. My mom's on her way home, all that stuff. So the cop is again back to what I was saying before. Cops talking to us, and I'm crying again. I think we're gonna go to jail, all this stuff, blah blah blah. And all my other friends, you know, were like scared too and all that. So all of her parents get called, obviously, especially mine, because you know it's my house. Um, but so everyone goes home, <sighs> and the cop takes my guns. Uh, like my airsoft guns, I was like mad at the time. But honestly, now they were really like low on value. They were only like thirty, forty, forty dollars. So and they were cheap, and they're gonna break anyway. So they, the cop took them. You know, I was sad, obviously, but you know, I obviously got a consequence for it. That was the consequence. But in all, but at the end of the day, we only got a warning. And again, I was obviously getting in trouble for my parents, of course. So that obviously I had to deal with. But yeah. Anyway, guys, the second part of this video is um, me going to be talking about the obviously the second part because I have, there's two times I've gotten in trouble with the um, police because of airsoft in my yard. So, guys, the second time I was in seventh grade, so this was uh, a year and a half or uh, two years ago now since I'm a freshman. <sighs> my throat really hurts. Oh man. Um, but basically, the uh, cop, um, you know. He, wait, what? So guys, anyway, um, this was winter time and I was still on the ground and all that stuff. So it would even be more fun to do this. So we were out outside again, went to go buy more cheap low airsoft guns, shooting each other, blah blah blah, boom, 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 having so much fun. But again, now this time it wasn't my fault or somebody like really, we didn't like like offend anybody. What well, we did, but like. <sighs> Oh man, it really hurts. Man, I'm really bad to her throat. My dad's checked it. It's, I don't have a strep or anything, but <clears throat> oh well. But guys, um, <clears throat> but guys, um, Ashley and Jeannie was one of the kids that we were playing with. He, being stupid enough, had like the airsoft mask on and all that stuff, and he ran around, like through my developments. He's basically was trying to flank us, but he didn't just go like around the neighbor house, come back and flank us. He went literally around the whole neighborhood to come and try to get us. By the time somebody called the cops, and the cops showed up, and we saw a bunch. We saw a cop drive by, so we were like, "Oh man!" We doored in the house, put everything away. We stayed in the house. We locked the door, shut the shades, everything. Um, and we saw the cops, we, people, we see the, saw the cops walking behind, or not walking behind, yeah, walking behind our yard and stuff. So we were really scared, and eventually, um, uh, my dad was shoveling the, uh, yard, and he saw the cops, you know, walk through our yard and stuff, looking at the, the snow tracks, right? But my dad obviously didn't say, you know, I, you know, that was them. He waited till the cops actually came up to him, and said, you know, have you seen any kids or anybody running around with, like, toy guns or a gun or anything? He was like... Oh yeah, my, my son and his friends were playing some airsoft a little bit earlier. He's like, yeah, can we talk to them? And, um, you know, so obviously we had to come outside. Um, we were talking to the cop, and the cop was, you know, obviously we get our information, all that stuff. He gave us a warning, 
again because these cops didn't know us from the last time and also it was obviously a long time ago so they didn't really care they just gave us another warning it's time to do it again you know it's not your our fault it was just Ashton and I wasn't crying or anything I was in the like uh, the first time I got in trouble because I, I was older now and I was I knew what happened the first time I only got a warning and it kind of like stop on the wrist so I was I was still scared obviously because I did get grounded obviously but um you know oh well anyway guys that's it for the quick little stories but first guys before that um I wanted to show you guys the airsoft channel I used to have I still have it I just don't post on it I haven't posted on it in a while on Nugget Airsoft and don't the freaking profile picture look at that hilarious my guys you're so funny boy and I have over um a hundred thousand views on this channel like right there that channel right there I got no views on that I tried posting that try to say everyone know that I have another channel but obviously no one watches that um but I got on um, my ATV review when I first got it 97,000 views, guys. Not bad. 300 likes flat. Not bad. So, um, guys, passing it back off to normal Nico. I mean, I am normal Nico, but on my actual camera DSLR. So, anyway, guys, let's do that. All right, guys. So, I don't know if I'm going to put this in the video or not. It just depends how long the video is by now while I'm editing it. But if I do, I'm just going to show you guys. My old airsoft guns, well, not, they're not old, they're pretty new, but I mean, I just like my airsoft guns that I have. So, guys, this is one of them, and this isn't, I didn't get catch, like, in trouble with the cops with this one. This looks really re realistic, that's because this is an orange tip. I only use this one for, like, when I actually go to an actual indoor field with my team, but yeah. They guys have my play carrier right there, nugget, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. All my other equipment, like my belts, all that stuff, other vest, other like, guns and stuff like that in there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see the outro right here, guys. So, oh, I remember that uh, thumbnail. But <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as always. Of course, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.